praise God, praise God again. Uh, my name is Cecilia, and this is Cecilia Ministry of Healing. I bless God for this moment, for this privilege that he has given to me so that I can um, share the word of God with you guys. And I bless God for the Holy Spirit because I know the Holy Spirit will intercede on each and every one of us and we are going to be guided, we are going to be filled with it and we are going to be changed people as we share the word of God, as we encourage each other, as we motivate, inspire, as we pray together and as we share this bread that we have been given uh, so that our life can be changed and so that we can know God we can know about ourselves and we can know about the truth from the word of God in the mighty name of Jesus. I want to share uh, a word from the book of Ezekiel chapter 3 verse 16 and I believe that we are going to be blessed we are going to be changed in the mighty name of Jesus because we are going to hear uh, the word of God and we are going to learn something that God wants us to know praise the name of the living God but before I do that allow me to pray for the word and I believe that we are going to be blessed as we continue to listen amen amen Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, I come before you as I glorify your name, Lord, because you are worthy. You are Jehovah Jireh, Jehovah Nissi, Jehovah Yahweh. The God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob is the one that I'm praising, is the one that I'm lifting up. Father, you are the judge who sitteth on the throne, O oh, my dear King of glory. Being surrounded by the 24 elders with the angels, we join them this hour, this moment, so that God, O oh, my dear Father, we may bless your name, we may pray praise your name we may worship you lord because you are a great god oh my dear king of glory there is no one like you father I thank you, Father, even for the Holy Spirit, oh my dear Father. May the Holy Spirit intercede on each and every one of us, oh my dear Father, that whatever that we are going to share today in the mighty name of Jesus, let the Holy Spirit take control, Father, because your word says in the book of Romans that if we are being guided by the Holy Spirit, if the Holy Spirit intercede on our behalf, we are going to talk accordingly to your word, oh my dear King of glory, because the Holy Spirit will uh, put words into our mouth and we are going to be blessed in the mighty name of Jesus. Therefore, I bless the word of today and I pray that God, oh my dear Father, we may be changed people. We may not remain the same. Rather, we may follow your ways, your command in the mighty name of Jesus as we continue to share your word, as we continue to motivate, encourage, and inspire each other with your word in the mighty name of Jesus. And I do pray this shortly believing and trusting in Jesus' name. Amen, amen, amen. Wow, glory to God. Have you <clears throat> ever asked uh, yourself if you're that person who have been appointed by God as a watchman? Or are you out there and you are the person that God has appointed uh, as a watchman upon his people? Praise the name of the living God. Uh, I want to read from the word of um, uh, the book of Ezekiel chapter 3 and verse 16 until verse 21. And we are going to hear what the word of God is telling us. And I believe that we are going to be blessed we are going to change our ways we are going to do according to what god wants us to do because this one is going to help us in the mighty name of jesus and i will start ezekiel chapter 3 from verse 16 it says after seven days had passed the lord spoke to me motorman he said I am making you a watchman for the nation of Israel. You will pass on them uh, to them the warning I give you. If I announce that an evil person is going to die, but you do not want him to change his way so that he can save his life, he will die, still a sinner. And I will hold you responsible for his death. If you do not want an evil man, and he, if you want an evil man, and he doesn't stop sinning. He will die still a sinner, but your life will be spared. Praise the name of the living God. If a true, if a truly man, um, 
start doing evil and I put him in a dangerous situation. He will die if he does not, if you does not warn him. He will die because of his sin and I will not remember the good things he has done and I will hold you responsible for his death. If you do not want, if you do want a good man not to sin and he listen to you and, um, and does, doesn't, sorry, I will repeat. If you want a good man not to sin and he listen to you and doesn't sin, he will stay alive and your life will be spared. Praise the name of the living God. Uh, here we have been given homework it's like a homework we have been given uh, a task by god to do praise the name of the living god god uh, commanded or instructed ezekiel uh, to do the following things and he made him a watchman to the nation of israel praise the name of the living god and he told him to pass this warning and announce to every evil person who is doing wrong and and if that person does not change, uh, that person was going to die and he, he was going to die a sinner. And uh, this one was to be, uh, um, uh, Ezekiel was the one to be held responsible for not warning them. But he was told if he warned that person and that person does not change, he will still die a sinner. But the, uh, the life of Ezekiel was going to be spared because he did his task. Praise the name of the living God. Most of us, we have been appointed by God. And we have been given this task of, of passing the word of God, of warning people to stop doing bad things, of stop doing um evil things of stop being wicked praise the name of the living god but most of us we are not obeying the word of god we are not following the instruction we are not following the commandments that god want us to follow praise the name of the living god instead we are following the things of the word we are doing evil things we are doing wicked to other people praise the name of the living god we are not listening to our our, our men of God, we are not listened to the message they are passing to us. Praise the name of the living God. And believe me, you, the word of God is saying, if a man of God is passing a warning to you and is telling you, is instructing you to stop doing what you're doing and you are still doing what you're doing, praise the name of the living God. You will die a sinner and this one will not be held responsible in his life because he has already won you. But if he does not warn you, he just see you what you're doing and it does not matter in him. Praise the name of the living God. He's just leaving you to do what you're doing. Uh, this one will be held responsible to his life because he has been given a task as a preacher, as a servant of God, as a watchman of God, but he is not doing his his work praise the name of the living god and so both of us we have a task here you who is sinning you have to stop singing you have, who have been appointed as a watchman you have to do and complete your task by warning god's people so that they can follow the ways of god and stop sinning praise the name of the living god hallelujah Another thing that the Bible is telling us is that if you are a good man and you stop doing good things, you start doing bad things, you will die a sinner. But if a man of God wants you and you, 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 you don't listen to what he is warning you, you continue, you will stop, you, you will, you will, you will, you will, um, um, you will die. You will die as a sinner and God will not even remember the good things that you have done and he will hold, he will not hold responsible uh, the preacher because he has already delivered the message to you. But if this watchman does not deliver a message to you and he always watch you doing wrong and he does not warn you, this one will be held responsible to him. But you also a sinner you will still die as a sinner because your ways are not good. Praise the name of the living God. So this is a high time for both of us to start doing what we have been appointed to do. 
the warning that is coming from God, let us follow. Praise the name of the living God. Because all of us, we have gone astray. We are not following what God wants us to do. Praise the name of the living God. We are doing things that please us, but that, uh, that does not please God. God wants us to do things that are good, things that please him. Praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah. So it is a high time for those who have been appointed as watchmen by God to do their task by warning God's people, by telling people to change their way and follow God's way. And you, if you are out there and you have heard this watchman telling you the message from God, you have to change your way because if you does not change your way you are going to die as a sinner and this one will not be held responsible to the watchman of god praise the name of the living god so i believe that all of us we have heard what god has delivered to us the message that have been delivered to us and we are going to follow this message and we are going to be blessed our ways are going to be changed the more we desire to do according to god's will the more we continue to have this fear from god god is gonna do marvelous things into our life and we will never ever regret Hallelujah. And so I bless God for this word of today. And I believe that we are going to do and follow God's instruction and everything is going to be fulfilled into our life in the mighty name of Jesus. I want to give you uh, this opportunity. You who is out there, uh, you have not accepted Jesus as your personal savior. This is the moment you stop doing wicked things. You stop sinning. All of us, I believe that there is no one who is perfect and we are to always repent our sin yesterday i gossiped you yesterday i looked with you with a bad eye yesterday i did this and that it does not please god so we forget every time we sin uh, and we forget also to to repent our sin but we have to have this lifestyle of repenting our sin and i believe that we are going to be forgiven because our god is merciful our god is patient he is always there waiting for us to confess our sin to be closer to him and we are going to be blessed in the mighty name of jesus so i welcome you uh for uh for you in this prayer so that we can uh, recite this prayer and i believe you will start with you by forgiving yourself and god will also forgive you as we say this prayer say let us pray father i confess that jesus is my lord i make him um, the Lord of my life right now. I believe in my heart that you raised him from the dead. I renounce my past life with Satan and I close the door of all his devices right now. I submit my heart, my will to you, Father God. I believe that you have cleansed me of all of my sin. Thank you for forgiving me. I confess now that I am, I am saved and Jesus is the Lord and Savior of my life. I confess that I am a new creation in Jesus Christ. I confess that that all things have passed away and now new things have become new into my life in the mighty name of jesus if you have recited that prayer just believe that god has forgiven you and he's not holding anything against you he's not like a human being if he forgives he forgives don't let that sound or that voice of satan uh, torment you or remind you of the things that you have done uh, if you have confessed your sin you are clean because uh by his strife by his stripes we are healed we are being forgiven our sin it is finished on the calvary and god will never ever remind us of what we have ever done amen so you are a new creature in jesus family you are in this family of overcomer and you will overcome everything praise the name of the living god and god has welcomed you into his family amen amen let us continue to have that desire 
to be closer to him and i believe that we are going to be blessed in the mighty name of jesus thank you for watching this video and i believe the um the the lord jehovah is going to bless you as you continue to worship continue to support this channel by liking commenting subscribe and also uh, share this video with your friends and i believe that all of us we are going to spread this gospel and we are going to be blessed in the mighty name of jesus shalom